Hey everybody, this is Dr. Rich Etchberger from the UNA Basin campus of Utah State University. Uh, today we did something really interesting with our wildlife management class. Uh, instead of working with wildlife, we went out and worked with fish. In fact, we went up to the uh, White, White Rocks Fish Hatchery uh, here in the UNA Basin uh, to help them spawn some Kamloops cutthroat trout. And you can see me here, uh, first time I've, I've ever done this, uh, first time my students had ever done this. A uh, really neat uh, thing to do. Here you can see I'm squeezing uh, one of the females to get the eggs from the female. Uh, what you do is that they, uh, they actually use clove oil, clove just like the spice, uh, to settle the fish down. It's a very good anesthetic that's not harmful to the fish. Uh, and then what we do is get them out of the raceway and squeeze the eggs out of them. I, you can see me squeezing the eggs down, uh, having a great time doing this. Um, we uh, will take those eggs uh, from five fish. They'll take five females, uh, take all the eggs out, and mix them together. Uh, once we have them all mixed together, they will get some of the, uh, the males of the Kamloops cutthroat. Here you can see one of our uh, wildlife students, Melissa Wardle, uh, taking her shot at squeezing the fish. Um, once the uh, eggs are all in there, we'll grab the males and then uh, same kind of uh, idea there. We'll clean the fish up a little bit and then we'll squeeze the sperm out of the uh, male in with the eggs and uh, following that we'll put in uh, the sperm from about five different males. Uh, we'll mix the sperm together with the eggs and the fertilization process takes about three seconds once we've done that. You can see we've added a little bit of saline solution in there to act as a buffer for the eggs. Uh, once the eggs uh, hatch they're put into a different uh, container that keeps water flowing on them all the time. And you can see here the yolk sacs that are hanging on the fish. Um, following uh, some growth of the fish, they'll be moved over into some small raceways inside a building uh, where they'll be able to be protected and fed as they grow. And finally, they'll be moved out to larger raceways. Uh, these fish grow about eight inches a year. Let's see what our students had to say about their trip out to the White Rocks Fish Hatchery today. Okay. Let's cargo away. Okay guys, today uh, you know you had an opportunity uh, to kind of get out here in the field. Um, we uh, were out here at the White Rocks Fish Hatchery, got you out here to squeeze a couple of fish. Um, what kind of impressions do you have from this? Dan, what do you think? I think the the seeing a, a classmate, you know, somebody that's just finishing school, graduating, uh, right in there doing the work, uh, was was a pretty good thing to take away. That he's he's been able to directly apply his education right to his job right away, right at, right in the field. I think that was probably upwards of one of my favorite things. And then squeezing the female fish, squeezing out those eggs was pretty cool too. <laughs> Great, thanks, Dan. Brian, what about you? I thought it was cool watching the eggs and the the sperm flow too out of the fish. And to see how the hands-on uh, process works and how good a th success they have. They have like a 90% success ratio from the process that they use. They're careful to do the timing and things right. So I was very impressed with the scientific methods that they've used to get such good recruitment. And I learned uh, something that I didn't know that the tiger and the splake trout are all, even if they're, they occur in nature, they're all sterile. So they can be a fairly aggressive fish, but they won't breed. I didn't know that before, so something fun to learn. Great. Thanks, Brian. All right, Melissa, what about you? What you what would you think of your trip over here to the uh, White Rocks Hatchery? I really like the hands-on stuff, like milking the fish and then watching how that goes with on. And then I really like just the process where they had it in the actual hatchery where they hatch the fish out and what they do to get to that point and kind of how they keep them and gradually move them up until they get to the, I guess, semi-outdoor pens. So. It was good to see the little wigglies and oh, the yeah, yolk sacks. Tiny. <laughs> really cool. I didn't know that they depended on their yolk sack for that long. So. Yeah. It's it a like lot of fun. Good opportunity that we get from being USU students out here. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, like I said, it was fun for me to get out here. Uh, you guys got to see me squeeze my first fish today. Hey, yep. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, we're going to wrap this thing up. Um, take it back to USU. I know we, uh, we have to spend a little time in class tonight uh, back in the building, but uh, we'll be out here in the field again soon.
Okay, thanks. Thanks.